Hello Zuckerbach and this time we have a job from a local repair shop It's a nice i3 agent uh, laptop The laptop is plugged in, it's charging, it's taking 700 milliamps Pressing the power button The laptop is coming on, the current is going up But we have some flashing on the caps lock Yeah, so check there One, two, three Then two shorts Yeah, you can see One, two Three and then two short lights. Now, according with the with the HP website, they have uh, error codes. So we have uh, three red link blind blinks. Yeah, three red red or white is same thing, and two shorts. Does mean a memory memory problem? Okay, that's what he's saying. This condition indicates a potential memory failures. Yeah. Uh, the computer shop which sent the laptop here, they think it's a BIOS problem. Yeah, I believe BIOS need something. Yeah, so let's open. Okay, so we open the laptop, and we don't have RAM. We don't have RAM at all because probably it's on board on the other side of the board. So this just became our most common fault. The fact that RAM is on board and uh, uh, is getting cracked solders. Let's try RAM. Same error codes even with RAM memory. You can see we are getting same error codes. Let's check first the RAM voltage. Let's see if we have any RAM voltage. We do have check on the screen 1.2 volts. Now, what is the solution? Well, the solution is quite simple. Risky, but simple. Yeah. So what I'm going to do. Use that program and disable the onboard RAM. No, let's take the board out and check the RAM on the other side of the board. Let's see the HP. They are doing the same thing like Lenovo. Huh? using that black glue to solder the um, to stick the chips the memory chips on the board which is stupid let me take the board out oh wait we have a problem here we know we don't have on board ram oh lol The fee can be the BIOS, can be the customer, can be right. The computer shop can be right. So what can be the problem then? So we don't have any onboard RAM on this board. Yeah. We tried with a RAM memory. And we are getting same error code, like uh, resetting the RAM. Yeah, we're gonna try to clean the RAM slot, but do you really think that it will fix the problem? Can be a bias problem? We do have a bias chip here, we can uh, try to do a bias. So we are like uh, nearly one hour later, and I dig in a little bit. Yeah, also I try a new bias, it's not a bias. And uh, also I check with the schematic, whatever can be checked on the motherboard. But then I searched on Google about the, based on the C, on the motherboard, uh, wait, the laptop is on. Okay, based on the motherboard uh, uh, model number. Yeah? And uh, so as you search on Google, you will see people actually, they had this problem with this laptop. So one more time, just to recap, pressing the power button and the cap slope is flashing indicate a RAM memory issue. Uh, now, if I power off the laptop, yeah, and I hold the socket down, <laughs> you'll be surprised. <laughs> I mean, the fault is it's you know is simple. Oh, it's still flashing. Oh, sorry, still flashing. Okay, I got it wrong. Let me press on this corner. Yeah. So pressing the power button. 
and it's not flashing anymore. The, yeah, the fault is uh, stupid simple, and it's a socket issue. But you will not expect, I mean, you always will think uh, it's something more complicated when the fault actually is very simple. Let's wait because we reset the BIOS. Here yeah, we unplug the power. But the caps lock is not flashing anymore. Let's wait. And we have picture on the screen. Yeah, the picture just disappeared and we have those things on the screen. But basically, it's a socket problem. So let me take out the board and uh, let's resolder this socket. Yeah, so this one is gone. You can see it's moving. This one is gone, it's moving. And yeah, that's all. It's enough to have like two pins. Yeah. So the problem are those two pins. Let's solder them quickly. Now let's test. Uh, using a little bit of rosin. Rosin is good. Perfect. Yeah. So we solder the we solder the pins. So apart from those, Yeah, this one. This one is moving, you can see it. Perfect. And on the other side, yeah, otherwise it's fine. So the problem with the port is uh, at the ed edges. Let's clean it. And let's test it. And plug the charger. So the charger is plugged in. Pressing the power button. And the caps lock is not flashing anymore, you can see. Let's wait because we reset the BIOS. And we have picture, you can see. Pressing the RAM memory, pressing the RAM memory, nothing happened. So it's solid. Pressing the enter button, the computer is still responding. So I will call this a fix, okay? So next time when you have uh, this kind of issue, just be sure you push the RAM slot down, uh, just to be sure, you know, it's not, uh, it's not 
a socket issue actually. Okay, so I'll stop this video and uh, try to don't go that far. I mean, <laughs> I did try. I did try one BIOS, I did check with the schematic, I did spend some time on this one, and actually the fault was, you know, stupid simple. So see you on the next one. Bye.